Good morning folks, uh, Saturday morning, a uh, wee bit rough this morning with a, a Zoom newcomer at Burns Club cronies meeting last night and oh dear, what a carry on we had. So this morning, in football terms, this is a super Saturday because we've not got one, we've not got two, but we've got three contributors and the beauty of it is that they're all for the the one family, three generations from the one family. Uh, they're all special in their own right. So you've got the granddaughter, the mum, and the old grandfather. First up, we'll have young Rowan. Rowan Hastie's already sang along with her mum, beautiful harmonies and she's also recited. The poem she's sent in is the one that I believe she won the, the, the school's competition for Burns uh, a few years ago. Uh, it's the rights of women. And when you hear her reciting this, uh, fantastic talent, and I can see a, a huge future for this young lass. Uh, you imagine a, a, an actress that's bonny to look at, great, great uh, vocal memory and a beautiful singer and all. Oh, what a future she's got. So Young Round's going to kick us off with the rights of women. Next up is Round's mum. Stephen and Victoria Hastie have been great friends of mine for many years. Stephen is a very, very good burn speaker. He doesn't recite much, that's how you've not seen him on here, but uh, when he talks about burns, he's very, very popular at burn suppers for immortal memories and toasts and the lasses. But it's Victoria that's here with us. You've already heard her singing along with young Rowan and as I said, the harmonies are fantastic. She's singing on her own today, and the song she's given us is Follow the Heron Home. It was a new one for me, uh, but it's it's lovely. Stephen tells me it takes about 17 takes to get it right, <laughs> but uh, I'm sure you'll enjoy Victoria. And last but by no means least is Rowan's old grandpa, old Billy Hasty Faye. You come that. Uh, what can I say about Billy? He's been a stalwart in uh, You Come That Burns Club since before I could read and write. Uh, a great old, a great old chill. My my friends up in You Come That tell me when he's away on the trip, he's got short terms and deep pockets. Don't know if that's true, Billy, but uh, we're fair, fair chuffed that you have come along and put in this effort for us. It's Robert Service's famous poem, The Cremation of Sam McGee. We've had a few requests for it and I'm delighted that Billy's stepped up and, and done it for us. There are strange things done by the midnight sun up in Newcomnock. Well, folks, I'm going to leave you with that. Uh, I know you'll enjoy it. So all I can urge you is to carry on with you, staying safe, and we'll get together sometime in the future. Enjoy. Bye for now.